So what is it that is missing from the Bible? Well, the thing that is missing that you've probably asked, and I know that I've asked at some point in some time, is where did God begin? I mean, if creation is a story of where we began, where is it that God began? Let me ask you a question. If you wrote a story about yourself, you might include when you were born, but you would just kind of gloss over those things, wouldn't you? Absolutely you would. But you really wouldn't go back to your actual beginnings. You would go through the things that are the most important that happened throughout your life. In fact, if someone were to ask you about it, you could have that discussion, but is that really what is important? See, what's important about this book, what's important about the Bible, is your salvation and my salvation through God. So it starts off in the beginning, and it shares the story of creation so you can understand where it is that we came from. So the foundation for what we read in the Bible is the Pentateuch. And it was written by Moses. It's the first five books of the Bible, Penta meaning five. And in this, this is what is given to us is known as the law. However, it's way more than that. It's the foundation for who we are. It's the foundation for what we do. And there's actually a narrative that takes place. And there's something also that is often not seen that Moses shares in this foundation. What is that? Well, I'll share that tomorrow. What I want you to do tonight, however, is I want you to take the last two chapters of Genesis and read through those. So you can hear the ending story about a man by the name of Joseph. He's very important to the foundation for you and for me.